Hello! Now that it is officially after Thanksgiving, I feel like I'm allowed to properly get excited about Christmas. And I don't know if you've seen the video, but Mariah Carey has been defrosted. She's ready to party. She's ready to make more money. <laughs> so I want to recommend today a pile of books that I think are perfect gifts for book lovers. And as a big reader myself, I know how difficult it can be to buy presents for me because often my friends and family don't know which books I've read, which books I haven't read. But all of these are books about books. Well, there are some new books, beautiful new books that I think would make great presents as well. But a lot of books about books, which I have really received enjoying over the past years or which I've enjoyed buying for other readers or which I've enjoyed buying for myself. I think it's really important to gift books for yourself. So here are some suggestions for you. And to get into the spirit, I've made myself a cup of tea in my little Moomin mug. And I don't know what it is about the Moomins, but it just always makes me think of Christmas, I guess, because of Scandinavia and cold and uh, but also like the wonderful spirit of the Moomin books. And actually, I'm just about to start reading uh, Tove Janssen's book, Fair Play, um, which has this beautiful wintry cover. This is one of her adult books, separate from her Moomin books, uh, but um, her writing is so wonderful and magical. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that before I get into this pile of books. Now, just recently in America, I uh, have been published my own two little titles of books recommending other books. So there's 50 books to read if you're an armchair detective and 50 books to read if you're a hopeless romantic. These came out here in the UK um, last year, but yeah, they're just out in the US and uh, I'm really proud of them. They're really lovely. And personally, I mean, I know I have a vested interest. Well, actually, I don't have a vested interest because I don't make, um, I don't, I don't yeah, um, get any like like profits from the amount of books sold from these books. Um, I was just paid a flat fee for writing them. But anyway, you don't need to know that. These are books. I'm recommending books in these different genres and they're not meant to be definitive lists of all times of romance books and mystery books, but there are a whole mixture of genres and styles, some new, some old, some very famous, some more obscure to like inspire readers if you enjoy these types of books to try reading some other books. And so I give um, some summaries of the books, but there's also space to give your own star readings and ratings and to make notes. And uh, so, yeah, I, I think they're just lovely little gifts. Some perfect stocking stuffers as, as well. Um, I'll put links below as well um, to bookshop.org. And if you order um, any of these books through that website, you're helping to support independent bookshops. And there's bookshop.org um, both here in the UK, but also in the US. And so I think that's a wonderful thing to do as well. Now, another book I'd really recommend is this great book of um, the Shakespeare and Company book of interviews. And as a big reader, I love reading author interviews and Shakespeare and Company in Paris, the famous uh, um, English language um, bookshop uh, that has such a great history um, has interviewed a number of authors over the years. And this, um, this includes a lot of those interviews um, with um, some older, some um, more contemporary writers, um, but really interesting and a beautiful book and a beautiful way to meditate and imagine visiting uh, this beautiful bookshop in Paris. Now, another book um, I really love as a reader reading about other readers is Readers as Writers. Um, this is a Virago celebration of um, some of the authors they've published over the years. And um, I just love reading authors' opinions on other authors. Um, so you get Margaret Drabble on Jane Austen, Angela Carter on Charlotte Bronte, um, A.S. Byatt on Willa Cather, A.S. Byatt, who very sadly died recently. Um, there's Jonathan Coe on Rosamund Lehman. Uh, there is is uh, Zadie Smith on Zora Neale Hurston. There's Sarah Waters on Sylvia Townsend Warner. So yeah, such um, a great way to discover some more like classic authors if you've not read them before as like a gateway of getting into them, of reading what other authors 
contemporary authors have thought about these more classic authors. And uh, yeah, it's just a wonderful book. Now, another great way to imaginatively travel around the country visiting different bookshops is uh, bookshop tours of Britain. And I received this book um, a few years ago. This is such a wonderful way to uh, to make a plan to visit a number of different bookshops. And I think even if you don't live in the UK, this is a wonderful book to receive because when I was growing up in America, I got this book about literary tours around Britain and I loved reading through it and, um, and imagining visiting all these places like Bronte country, which I've now visited now living in the, the UK. And so um, this gives great descriptions of all these different bookshops and maps of the different regions and um, yeah, some of the histories behind them and beautiful photographs of all of them. So yeah, this is a really wonderful book that I loved receiving. A really fun book um, I got once and which I absolutely love is Baking with Kafka um, by Tom Gold. These are uh, like comics or cartoons about the literary life. And I think we as readers, we can recognize the ridiculousness of buying so many books and acquiring so many books that we know we won't be able to read all of these books, but we just love having them around us. And I feel like there's so many kind of in-jokes like that that us readers um, really love. And um, so many of these comics like get that in a really great and fun way. So this is a wonderful thing to read through and um, just glance through and read some of these cartoons and have a chuckle on Christmas Day. Now, another um, book that is like literary inspired is literary inspired cocktails of Tequila Mockingbird. And a friend gave me this a number of years ago and I loved reading through it. And so these are all cocktails um, with literary puns attached to them. So the Count of Monte Cristal or uh, there is uh, what is it? Cherry Poppins. <laughs> and they come with like funny little illustrations uh, as well. So yeah, um, this is another great thing just to like breeze through, but also to get some insp inspirations for cocktails to make around the festive period, because what better excuse to have a drink? And uh, another little book that um, I loved and which is great stocking stuffer size is a little book about books, which gives um, quotes from a number of different authors um, about literature and about reading. And so another one of these like book lovers books that is like reveling in the experience of being a book lover and um, which I think so many of us bibliophiles have. And uh, so to pick out a quote at random, oh, there's one from Eleanor Roosevelt um, who says, the reason that fiction is more interesting than any other form of literature to those who really like to study people is that in fiction, the author can really tell the truth about humiliating himself, <laughs> which is such a great like insight. There's also one from uh, Charles Dickens uh, speaking about like festive writing. Um, there are books of which the backs and covers are by far the best Hearts. So very catty remark there from Charles Dickens. Now, um, if you want to have a like little festive book that I think is just so beautiful um, is Another Night Before Christmas by Carol Ann Duffy, um, the great um, British poet. And, uh, and this is a story um, about a girl who goes down to try to um, see if Santa is real. So I think this is a beautiful book for children if you want to like inspire children to start reading. It's a lovely little book to give them and to read aloud to them um, and to share in the joy and, and hopefully inspire them um, to read some more books. Now, in terms of like new books that are beautiful and that I'd really recommend, um, a book that I've been recommending to a lot of people recently is Papyrus by Irene Vallejo. And this is a nonfiction book. It's about the history of books themselves from ancient times when they were first created as scrolls from papyrus leaves in Egypt. And so she traces that history from those ancient times to the present, to, um, to contemporary ways of us reading like through digital ways, but how physical books really never go out of style. And she intersperses it with this history so many like interesting personalities of people in the past of like great book collectors who amassed huge 
enormous libraries of books um, themselves, but also authors and um, books that have been destroyed over the years. And also she mixes in with it her own personal history and why books are so meaningful to her herself. And um, this gives such a great like personal touch to this um, really fascinating history of the physical form of the, the book. So I loved reading this um, and uh, yeah, I just recommended it um, recently um, to another booktuber um, who said that she's really excited to read it. So that makes me very happy. Now, I think short stories are a great thing to read around the festive period and a great, so I think it's great to give um, short stories to other readers and a very festive collection is Stories for Christmas and the Festive Season, which was put out by the British Library of um, Women Writers. And so um, this collects a whole range of festive stories from both contemporary writers and some more classic writers. And um, they're just so fun to read uh, around the festive season and read aloud to either um, your partner or your children or to a friend or a loved one or just to read aloud to yourself. And I really enjoy reading through them and ticking off all of the stories that I've read aloud to my partner as a way of like tracking what we've read. And um, yeah, and it's just a great like joint activity to do around the festive season. Another book of short stories that has a very festive cover and which has come out in a new edition is Antarctica by Claire Keegan. I'm going to be reading this with my online book club soon. And um, yeah, it's just such a beautiful wintry cover. And Claire Keegan has finally been recognized as an international literary superstar. I, I feel like you know her profile has just gone up so much since she was listed for the Booker Prize last year for her incredible um, short book, small things like these. And this is a collection of older stories, which has just been printed and reprinted in this new edition here in the UK. Um, but I know it was printed in the US as well. Confusingly, the, it has the same stories, but they're arranged in a different order in the US. I don't know why. But, uh, but yeah, it's a really beautiful wintry cover and yeah, more great short stories to read around the festive season when we don't have all that much time. And so maybe just um, steal a bit of time to read a short story in between doing other chores or traveling or meeting up with other people. A really beautiful new collection of short stories by a great writer who I think more people need to read is Thomas Morris and this collection called Open Up, which has an absolutely beautiful cover. So I think would make a uh, really great gift. And he writes um, about realistic, like contemporary situations of ordinary people's lives, kind of slice of life type stories, um, but has such great psychological insight um, that they're just wonderful to read. So uh, another really great short story collection. Now, a new novel that um, I think would make a great gift or a great gift bundle um, is Julia uh, by Sandra Newman. And this is her take on uh, the classic novel 1984, but from the character Julia's perspective. And so I think it would make such a great present to give a bundle of a beautiful copy of 1984 with this new novel of Julia. And um, so there are many beautiful editions of um, the classic novel 1984, um, but there's um, one in particular which I would recommend, which I'll link um, in the description below, um, that I think would go great with this because there's a big eye on the cover and on the inside of this cover, um, it has uh, lots of eyes. And so, yeah, it just, I think it would work so well to, to go together um, as a bundle. Now, the final book I want to suggest as a new title, which came out here in the UK earlier this year, but I know only just came out in the US, I think at the beginning of last month, is The House of Doors by Tan Tuan En. And uh, this is such a wonderful story and a real like book lover's book because it's a novel about the novelist W. Somerset Mom following him in a period of his life and the creation of one of his most famous stories, how he was inspired to write it by being told uh, the uh, tale by the wife of a good friend of his. And so we get um, the story of how he received this story himself. And so this says so much about writing and the, the meaning of writing and what 
the important stories have in our lives and um, how they can be changed over time and manipulated in order to align more with our own version of the past or how we want to remember it or what makes a more exciting story to read about and how oftentimes um, the truth is much stranger than fiction. And um, so yeah, this is just such a wonderful novel that I'd really recommend for any book lover. So those are my suggestions. Um, I hope some of them are, are helpful. Um, I'd love to know some of your favorite books um, to give um, to book lovers. And if you're a book lover, some of the best books you have received as a book lover as presents, um, please let me know about that in the, the comments below. Uh, but I hope you're doing well and have a very merry, festive season if you celebrate the Christmas season and I will speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.